Coming out of the big box store the other day. <sighs> and the truck went. Woo, 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 woo. So there I am. Three sticks of lumber in the back of the truck. And new recycling bin. And what else did I have? That's about it. Is that what I got? Oh, and a can of paint. And the truck wouldn't start. So called AAA, got disconnected three times, and then they said it would be an hour. So sat there. Then I get the text that the guy's on his way. I'm like, you know what? It's worth one more shot. Rum, 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 rum. Rum. Truck starts up. So I bought a battery. Finally bought a battery. Still living off the same battery that was in the woods with it for a year and a half. Broke down. Spent the money. Got a battery. I don't know what kind. Exide, maybe? Exide, yeah. Anyways, it's out in the back of the truck. It's like 7.30 at night. I ran out of daylight. Yeah, it might be quarter to eight by now. Five to eight. Ran out of daylight. So I'm going to get all the stuff I need ready. To go out and put a battery in the truck bright and early in the morning we're going to the flea market and if you don't get there early they start closing up by like nine people are on their way out so we're going to do this tomorrow morning i'm going to get the tools ready right now um so be prepared to get up early and go out with me in the morning and install a battery in the truck all right Eight millimeter, where's my good eight? Eight millimeter. Don't need a 10 millimeter. I already went out and kind of cheated and looked. And we're gonna need, where's my good ratchet? Snap on ratchet. Nice long extension. 13 millimeter. And because it's a GM and I don't know, it might be a 14 millimeter. So I'm grabbing them both. Put them here. Grab these drill bits. for other things got one of these from uh, um, AutoZone and we're going to install it the it's got an extra you know what let me open it I'm going to start putting all my tools away So this becomes the battery terminal. See right there? And then this sticks out. So you can put your ring terminal over it, tighten it back down, and it's gold. Probably not real gold. It's probably some kind of crap or whatever. But I'm going to assume it fits. It says General Motors on it. That's what the truck is. I'm going to make sure I got a wrench to fit this. It's like a 17. Where am I 17? Nope. It's going to be a 19. Where's my 19? 19. Yep, 19. All right, so good. I'm going to put this here and this here. Throw this out. I'm going to finish cleaning up the shop. Um, and I'll see you guys stupid o'clock in the morning. All right? Well, as promised, it's stupid o'clock. Um, and it's stupid cold out here. I don't know why it's so cold. Somebody turned the heat off out here, and I don't like it. Give you a brief overview of what we've done. 
under the hood already. Put a new one of those on. That's a distributed cap and rotor underneath it. And then this ABS module over here, right there, the one that I pulled out of there sounded like a, a baby rattle. And as you can tell, we got a few more things we gotta do. We gotta straighten this out right here. And that. Oh, and I put a new uh, brake baster cylinder on there because we had no brakes. There's my new brake line. See that nice curve there? All right. Let's get to the matter at hand, which is changes the, changing this battery. Okay, right there is our terminals. And for some reason, it's still got the battery blankie on it. So we'll uh, pull that out in short measure here. Hold on. Go get some tools. Now it says in the book to pull the negative off first. Let's get this thing out here. This thing's seen better days. No, oh, battery's got to come out first. All right, so here's. Are negative. That came off pretty easily. Put that in with our frozen fingers. This is a high quality AAA battery, which I've heard tell means that it's not so high quality. Positive coming off. It appears as though somebody, at some point, has some kind of a booming stereo system in here, as you can tell from the electrical tape and the big wire there. We're gonna rid of that too. Now that, know that those are off, we can hopefully get our battery blanket off. Of course I didn't bring a knife with me. Oh. Throw that on the ground. Pick it up in a minute. Hopefully it doesn't break. Put this in our pocket. Thirteen perfect, and it's not gonna break. Fantastic. Battery extraction complete. All right. <clears throat> Battery tray and everything looks to be in really good shape. So we're just gonna go ahead and get our other battery. I don't know what that squeal was. Go get our other battery. All right. 
There's a new battery. As previously mentioned, it's an Exide. It's not a very large battery. Get under there. All right. Let's find our terminal, a special terminal that we're gonna put on. I don't know what I did with it. Probably in my pocket. There it is. I should have test fitted it while I had it out. Get our clamp on. Boy, is it cold. This, that. this goes down here like this. There's the nut. The old fingers to work when it's this cold. And it seems to be going swimming in each other. This down. And a positive. And a positive, but that's our positive. thing. Here comes Carmella. You hear that sizzle? That means we got contact. Alright, so that's starting. I got my eight. Here's the eight. Hello. Huh? Yeah. Just gotta tighten this thing up and then we can start her up. I should have brought a bigger wrench for this one. That's tight enough? I think so. Okay. Tighten this up by hand. Ow. All right, she's in. Move oh. all this stuff. Where's the keys? Here they are. Can't wait, it's still like 22 degrees out here. 